Hey, SFYF Sports, man. It's Lamont, man. Back, back with another, another breaking news video, man. Uh, before we get started here with this breaking news, uh, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, uh, like, comment, subscribe, engage in our videos so we can keep these videos coming. Again, the only way we can keep these videos coming is if you continue to interact and you continue to support the channel. But again, uh, I definitely wanted to drop this news as soon as I saw it break as soon as I saw this news break I knew that I would need to react to it um, it's the news uh, that the NBA has just dropped about an hour ago uh, there are zero positive coronavirus tests out of 346 players tested for corona uh, in the Orlando bubble now back on June back on July 13th as players were initially going into the NBA bubble again these players were coming from different places across the United States different places across the world they were entering into the bubble and as they entered the bubble they were going into their 48-hour quarantine um, so some of these players were coming in not with showing no symptoms uh, there were two players that tested it positive inside of the bubble uh, during that quarantine stage and those players have been isolated uh, those players are in quarantine. So since July 13th, players are continuously getting tested. Players have been retested. And in the second batch of testing, we have zero positive coronavirus tests. So uh, what this is an indication of, uh, this is a testament to not just the NBA, but this is a testament to the NBA players that are down there within the bubble. Um, they're actually doing their due diligence. They're following the guidelines that have been given to them. Uh, and, and again, you know, we know that they're not in the most ideal situations. You know, being cramped up in a hotel, uh, being cramped into a small campus like that, you know, for weeks on end can get frustrating. It could get boring. It can get lonely. Um, we know that there are going to be many challenges, but so far, um, there are positive results. Um, out of the NBA bubble. Um, now, the players who did test positive in the initial round of bubble testing, they were placed in quarantine when those tests came back positive. Uh, and they and, and actually, both of those players ended up leaving the bubble to go self-isolate. So I think we know who those players were who actually left on their own to go self-isolate um, as that the NBA did not necessarily identify those players. But... Uh, you know, just based on the reports that we've heard, we've heard of players leaving the bubble voluntarily, and those are the players who've chosen to self-isolate on their own outside of the bubble. Um, so, you know, there's been a lot of talk. There's been a lot of talk, you know, a lot of chatter, uh, you know, just from different media outlets, from other YouTubers. Uh, it, I, almost, I almost get the sense that a lot of people want to see this fail. I almost get the sense that people just cannot wait to see this plan fail and I never understood the logic behind this plan actually failing because the whole purpose of a bubble the whole purpose of isolating the players to this degree is to keep the coronavirus out um, this is why doctors have said being in the bubble like this is a safer place to be than just at your own home where you're walking around in streets daily you're around people who are not getting tested you're exposed to a number of different things uh, that could present this virus to you. So again, I think it's a very, very good indication uh, that the NBA is on the right track. It's a very, very good indication that the NBA made the right decision. Um, it's a very, very good indication that the NBA, their initial plan going into this was actually a good plan. And you know, the one thing, you know, just based on my research and just talking to the NBA personnel and the guys that I know, the one thing that I knew know for a fact is that the majority of the funding for this bubble, the majority of the funding went into the health concerns, went into the money to, to conduct the testing for all the players on a daily or, 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 or on a daily basis. Um, it, went into it went into providing the technology so that the players can uh, continue to maintain social distancing. So, so again, I really, really appreciate uh, the NBA stepping up, uh, putting forth a, a really good plan. And it's not just a plan, but it's actually working. We can see it working. So, you know, the, the NBA was given a very good format, 
Uh, you can, you know, any any team that wants to uh, continue to operate, you can look at the NBA. You can look at the TBT tournament. Uh, the TBT tournament was extremely successful. Um, they were able to maintain zero positive tests within their own smaller bubble. And it looks like the NBA, in a, in a much larger bubble, it looks like they're having the same positive results as well. So it's always good um, to be able to come on here and report positive news um, as opposed to only reporting the toxic news, the toxic things that you only see on social media. You know, and while we're on the, the topic of, you know, this virus and play, players testing positive, uh, there's been another story uh, that drops about the Lakers, Dwight Howard. And Dwight Howard, you know, although the NBA is striving to do everything possible to contain this, contain this particular virus, to keep players safe, uh, now Dwight Howard is now within the bubble and he is refusing to wear a mask. He says that he doesn't feel as if there's a need for a mask. Um, and he says that he's justified in doing so because there were zero positive tests confirmed in the bubble. Um, and, and what we all know is that, you know, although there are no positive tests, players, personnel, staff, everyone has to continue on with their due diligence. When you're not on the court, when you're not in practice, you have to maintain these safety protocols. You cannot slip up. You cannot start walking around without masks. You cannot stop using hand sanitizer. You cannot stop using these practices that keep everyone safe, not just you, that keeps everyone safe um, because you feel uh, that wearing a mask is inconvenient to you or is not a detriment to your own health. So I think in this particular instance, it's another situation where Dwight Howard has shown uh, his uh, selfishness. And again, he's done that from time to time in his career. He's been a bit selfish, and this is just another instance of him showing his selfishness. You know, he's already been reported on the hotline, uh, on the so-called snitch hotline that the players have for not wearing a mask, and he's continuing to refuse to wear a mask. So I'm curious to see what Adam Silva does. Um, I'm, I'm really curious to see what Adam Silva does heading uh, into this particular issue, if he's going to hand down punishments, if he's going to force Dwight Howard back into his quarantine into his room you know what are they going to do because what you can't do is you can't have uh these uh players being rebellious simply disobeying rules and these are just not common rules these rules have been set in place for the safety and security of everyone so you know dwight howard entered the bubble with a lot of questions around his appearance even being there he initially went into the bubble stating that he had his concerns about playing due to the social social issues uh, and now uh, it looks as if he's bringing uh, more drama uh, as that he's refusing to wear a mask while in the Orlando bubble. So, again, you know, continuously, we, continuously we're seeing the same players back in, the, back in headlines uh, for the wrong reasons. And once again, Dwight Howard is back in the headlines for the wrong reasons. This is absolutely unnecessary and uncalled for. And I, to be honest, I wish more people would call players like this out. You know, the, the, we see that the NBA is on the right path. Zero positive tests so far um, this week or since the 13th. They're doing the right things. So right now, everyone needs to do their due diligence. So I'm extremely disappointed uh, in the actions that Dwight Howard has taken while he's down there in the NBA bubble. Um, just on some lesser news, um, on some lesser news, uh, we have some news about Pat Connaughton. Uh, Pat Connaughton is not with the Bucks following a positive coronavirus test. All right. Uh, and again, this was this was actually recently reported. You know, on the same day the NBA uh, reported zero positive coronavirus tests, Pat Connaughton told the ESPN Milwaukee Sentinel that he hasn't reported. He hasn't reported uh, to the NBA bubble because he was one of the NBA players who tested positive uh, for coronavirus. Now, again, you, we want to make it clear that he did test positive outside of the bubble. Uh, he has not reported to the team just yet. So um, once he completes his two-week quarantine, which should be ending soon because he, was, he tested positive for this, uh, I would say, uh, over a week ago. Um, he should be down there in the bubble as well, along with players like uh, Russell Westbrook uh, and, and Landry Shamit. So these guys should be 
uh, clearing their two-week uh, quarantine pretty soon now. Ho hopefully, these guys can get back 100% healthy. Uh, from what I'm hearing, um, doctors are warning players to not just clear uh, the virus testing, but they also must pass an additional uh, cardiovascular test as well uh, because this does affect your lungs. So again, it really looks as if the NBA is taking additional measures um, for player uh, and personnel concerns. Uh, I really, really appreciate the due diligence that they're doing, and, and it's actually showing. It's actually showing because we can see the results right here. So the bubble in and of itself, when done correctly, when players adhere to the policy set in place, can work. Now, that can potentially change going forward in the next couple of weeks, but for as, we, as of now, uh, over the first two weeks of this bubble, we can say that it's been has been a success and so for all the naysayers for all the doubters uh, for all the people who uh, uh, are proclamating uh, these doomsday results uh, this doomsday scenario that the NBA will have uh, by allowing players to play in this bubble it just kind of looks like that you might be wrong on this one uh, because again the, the NBA's they're they're they are really proactive league they're a really progressive league I don't think that they would have even made this plan a possibility if they did not feel that they could keep the players safe nor their personnel safe so again overall I give the NBA an a plus on doing their due diligence getting this thing done the right way um, and it looks like they're pri prioritizing player safety uh, over just simply making money as some people may ascertain but it's been another another great break, breaking news video uh make sure again once again nba zero positive tests since july 13th uh, all players who tested positive voluntarily left the bubble so they're not even in that circle they're not even close to the players around so again that that i respect those players for take putting themselves outside of that bubble so they don't jeopardize the NBA season. So I really do appreciate that. And I hope that all the players who do have positive coronavirus tests get healthy. And not just get healthy, but can come back and actually start earning those game checks inside the NBA bubble once they're healthy. So again, another great, another great breaking news video. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe, hit the notification button. Like, comment, subscribe, do all of that stuff. We, we definitely appreciate all of your engagement. Uh, not just your engagement on YouTube, but your engagement on social media on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Uh, don't forget, we need we need 500 members in that Facebook group, NBA Goat Talk, NBA Goat Talk on Facebook. Make sure you look for the FYF Sports logo. Join that group. When we get to 500 members, that's when we're really going to start diving into those uh, live stream debates. And our debates, again, with our debates, prizes come with them. Every night, there will be prizes given to whoever the chat feels was the winner of the debate. So again, when we start having those debates, jump in, engage. You know, if you want to get in on a conversation, if you want to get on on the chat, you know, we'll make it possible. All right. If the chat says you need to get booted out, the chat, you, the chat votes you out, you're going to get voted out. We're going to give somebody else a shot. But again, we reward the people who can come in with the strongest arguments, whether it's for us or whether it's against us. We'll hear you out. We appreciate all of the support uh, on the road to 10K subscribers. And it's FYF Sports, and we're out.